Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. This video is going to be a little bit different, so I'm going to do a quick product review and also uh, following that, I'm going to shoot a time lapse of my third Varroa mite treatment with oxalic acid. So you can see how I run down the line and, and do all the hives all in one, one setting and I'll time lapse that so you can see that. So uh, let's get into this product review real quick. Uh, so Guardian Bee Apparel. I reached out to them and uh, asked them uh, if they would be interested in doing a product placement, uh, specifically a, a ventilated jacket. And uh, they said, normally we don't uh, send them out to channels that's less than 10,000, but they saw I was at 8,500 and growing pretty fast. And they said, we're going to go ahead and send you one. And uh, they said, what size do you need? And uh, so... We worked all that out and about a week later it showed up so uh so thank you to guardian be apparel uh that's a that's awesome i've never had anyone give me anything on my channel before like that so uh kind of crossed a, a milestone there so uh i was turned on to them by one of my viewers that, that that said that and i've also seen some other beekeepers that had them and and i really liked the way the veil setup was so that's why i reached out to them so and i and i did want i don't want a full suit i wanted the jacket and i want a jacket that bees don't get in and sting my face uh like last year and sting nato so uh yeah if you want to see something funny go back last year and check check out that video called sting nato uh, it was it was a bad day for me but ever since then i've been wearing an electric fence wire and i wrap it around the bottom of my jacket to keep it tight so the bees can't get up in it and uh also get some comments uh hey why don't you wash your bee suit so i try to wash my bee suit once a month and uh you know get it whitened back up but uh you know be careful of who you're who you're watching on on youtube and whatever if if they got a really white suit uh chances are if that's the first suit they've had they may not have a whole lot of experience so just be be careful of that uh People that do get in their bees and work hard and check out their hives and go through them, man, those suits get dirty. So uh, I usually will, st when mine will stand up by itself in the corner, uh, I'll, I know it's time time to wash it then when it'll stand up by itself. So that's that's kind of my gauge on that deal. So let's get this jacket on and I want you to see the, all the features and see how it fits and, and see what y'all think. So I will put a link to uh, this uh, Guardian Bee Apparel uh, where you can buy these online. So here's the tag. And uh, I really like the way this is put together. It uh, has all metal zippers. And this is a 2XL. So they recommend if you go one size over your t-shirt size. And I was kind of concerned about that because my old suit was, was kind of baggy and I did oversize it, but uh, I, I went ahead and went with their advice, and turns out that's spot on. It's not baggy on me like my other suit was. I keep saying suit, but this is a jacket. It's got a little collar here. I'm not sure if that's supposed to go up or down, but I've been putting it up. So the zippers work really good. Like I said, they're metal zippers. And look at this, look at how tight this is. I mean, it is, it's not going anywhere. No bees is gonna get underneath that. There's no way. So uh, yeah, that's good, good strong elastic there. Uh, on the arms, you have a long pocket here on your arms so you can put your queen marker in here. And there's another one over here. And on this side, on the left, it's got a Velcro pocket here. So probably this is where my queen clips will go. And then you have two pockets here that are just reach in. There's no flaps on them. And uh, this is where I'll keep my uh, four-handed queen catcher and, and things like that. Sweatband, all that's going to go in here. So yeah, lots, lots of pockets. Uh, yeah, let me get the uh, veil on here. So it took me a little while to get down, figure out how to zip this. Uh, my other one, you just pull them together and you velcroed it. 
this one seems like it has a little bit better uh, smaller hole so I start on the left first and bring that zipper over there we go so I'll bring the left one over first and I think you're supposed to tuck this ring in and then you bring the right one over and I don't tuck the right one in I just let that one dangle just kind of put it up there put the velcro over it so yeah that's uh doesn't leave hardly any hole there at all for a bee to get through and what I like about this so this is uh, designed by a beekeeper right so a lot of times you're hot thirsty and you want to drink and the only way to get one is to take your whole veil off well this one has an accessible veil you just un unzip the front boom I can get me a drink and uh, zip it back up and don't have to worry about uh, some assassin bee coming after me so they they make uh, three different veils for this jacket so I got one I think it's called the pro veil and it looks like that so that's what I like that's what I'm used to that's why I got it they have another one that uh, it goes out even farther and about right here and uh, I guess that's so you can work over the beehives and uh, not have to be bending over and see what you're doing. Which, uh, I've never tried that. If I had that all the time, I might have wished I would have got that. And they also have the round one. So if your veil wears out, all you gotta do is order this veil. And I think all bee suits are that way. But uh, fits good. Uh, it's not baggy. The bottom is tight. Uh, I'm 6'2", I got long arms and it, it goes all the way down past my wrists on both sides yeah so guardian bee apparel thank you very much and this is what i'll be wearing from now on when i'm working on my bees and uh, like i said i'll put a link down below uh, to where you can order these and uh, i'll i'll like, talk about it as i'm using it and uh, if I, f I find out anything that maybe i don't like about it or things i really do like i'll try and point those out uh, throughout the year as we go on so Let's get started on our uh, oxalic acid treatment number three.